Hi everyone, um, today I'll be showing you how to set up a newsletter. Before I actually get, the, get into the details of how to set up one, uh, let's just talk about what is a newsletter. So a newsletter is just a fancy way of emailing a group of people. Now I know what some of you are thinking. Why can't we just use email? Or why do we need a newsletter to do that? And the answer is, you absolutely can, but it gets complicated really quick. Let me show you how. Say for example, you want to email a group of friends about your thoughts on movies every two weeks, right? Uh, and over time, some of those friends tell their other friends and you receive emails from like 20 other people who want to get onto the list. And some of the original friends are like, you know, I love you, but I don't want to receive these emails periodically and want to get off the list. As you can imagine, over a few months, you'll be spending a lot of time managing, adding people and removing people uh, from the list uh, than actually writing those emails in the first place. This is exactly what a newsletter can help you do. Uh, the, these tools help you manage these lists beautifully. Um, they come with a lot of lot more uh, added benefits. You can send really pretty looking emails. You can also um, read have analytics around your emails, like how many people are opening uh, the emails. Are they actually clicking on say links you have in the emails? And finally, you can also learn how to send your newsletter to the most relevant people within that group. Um, an example, if I tie it back to movies, would be um, if some of your friends are only interested around your thoughts on action movies, for instance, you can easily tag them. You can easily segment using the right newsletter tool to make sure it goes out. Hopefully by now I've sold you on the benefits of why having a newsletter is better than just emailing people yourself. Um, so let's get into some of the details of the tools we'll be using today. Um, so I'll be using Card, which is a great tool to make one page websites. Um, and that'll help people sign up for your newsletter. And for the newsletter tool itself, we'll be using ConvertKit, but I'll be giving you various options uh, for other tools you can use. Anyways, I'm excited to show you how to create one and um, hope, you, hope you enjoy today's tutorial. So here we are on a card.co. So let's scroll down and you know, the moment you can see card, you can see these variety of different ways to create uh, one page websites. And that is what card is for. You know, you can create any, any type of a single page website, right? And uh, we can like pick any template. So these are like, uh, profile templates, you know, to kind of showcase your work, uh, landing pages uh, to maybe announce a new product. Uh, form templates is the one, you know, which I'm very invested in because it's perfect to collect uh, email addresses, which is exactly what we need. We just need a page which can collect email addresses. So uh, let's click on the, I, th I, I quite like this one because it's, it's very, it looks pretty simple. And of course you can demo any template before looking at it uh, and, and pick it. Let's select this one. And once we have selected a template, it just takes us into the edit section of the card interface. So we are within the card edit. Uh, a section right now and uh, before like you know I actually go in and start customizing elements um, I just want to give you a quick overview of uh, what we're seeing here so um, this entire page is just made you know of different sections um, and any element is uh, can be edited in this left uh, sidebar which pops up right so if I pick up like say this explore the multiverse um, I can directly you know change the text here uh, for example, or um, change the look of it. So, you know, maybe I want to make the black uh, or the star gray or red or, you know, blue or any other color, uh, change the font, size, weight, uh, the appearance. Um, and then even like these are like some more advanced settings. So if you want to like actually go in and customize your code. Um, and then of course you can delete uh, any section um, or, you know, make a, make a copy of it. Um, so that is an overview of like, you know, the 
the elements. Now, it, here there are surprisingly two sections, right? And so the second section is what will show up after someone will fill up this form. Then if you look on the top right, we have all these different buttons, right? Um, so this is actually to read your work, you know, uh, whatever your last action is. Uh, this is to preview any animation. We don't have any animations on this uh, template, I think. It's pretty simple. So we will keep it there. Uh, these, this just show you different sections. And we have like both these sections, um, one is like, you know, of course, this home page. And second is, you know, once you fill in the form, uh, this brings up like, you know, mobile view of like your site. Um, and this um, like helps you publish the site, right? So you can put like a site title, a site description, and then choose the URL and it's published. So uh, pretty much uh, let's toggle back to the mobile view. You will see in 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 how we can actually achieve this, you know, in less than an hour, uh, right from, you know, putting putting up a basic uh, website to be able to collect email addresses. The first thing uh, we got, you got to decide is what your newsletter is about. What I want to do is, you know, email people about the best weekly remote jobs in startups. The idea is that, you know, every week I'm going to send out uh, a list of the best jobs in startups, which can be done remotely. Um, and so uh, I just want to convey that through uh, through this page. Uh, now, what I like doing is, uh, and this may be a good exercise that works for you, is actually writing down uh, the copy of the page. Uh, corresponding to this landing page, you know, somewhere else. So here is kind of how I've written on the copy um, uh, and and categorize this into headings, subheadings, you know, the right hand side, the set, the text, and then the sign up form, right? So let's start, you know, copying, pasting this stuff. So uh, we can go here, edit this and done. And then uh, this is the subheading. So, um, I'm just I'm calling this newsletter aspirable um, and then some text below that uh, which is uh, there that's it right so get the best remote jobs weekly what this is about and you know what this newsletter will do right now sign up today I have some copy for they sign up as well so let's put this here find your next remote role done then i can change this lauren ipsum to say we promise never to send you spam we promise not to send you spam and that's done and then let's go to the thank you page and let's change this saying look forward to seeing you in your inbox next week in look forward to seeing you next week look forward to seeing you next week right uh done so that's it right now um uh this is a page which can now capture uh name emails and and uh, once submitted, you can actually, uh, you will see the section. That's it. So uh, I think the next step, which I want to take you through is how I act. I am going to use a newsletter tool, uh, ConvertKit specifically, to connect this name and email, these form fields, um, which will then get captured into that newsletter tool. See you in the next. Now the uh, the next part, what we need to do is um, hook this up to a newsletter service, right? And uh, what uh, what we're going to use, you can use Mailchimp. I'm going to I'm going to use ConvertKit, right? Um, and honestly, like for your first one, ConvertKit, Mailchimp, all are all are pretty good. Um, and uh, you can see all the uh, all the options here. Um, so let's just pick. I'm picking ConvertKit for this example, but it's pretty much the same even if you use Mailchimp. Um, 
and uh, they'll ask you to fill in like an API key from your account and a form ID for your account, right? So, um, and then of course, you know, when, you know, once it's completed, it gets, uh, it gets redirected to the done section, right? So um, to actually fill this in, we have to go and create an account in ConvertKit, right? So let's go ahead first and do that. Now, uh, we just go to convertkit.com and, you know, um, sign up and just you know create an account it's it's free right so you will find like a place to like create a new form so i'm just going to create one from scratch uh just to show you uh so let's go we can create a new form and then uh let's uh we are we already have a landing page right which is what we created so let's just click on form and then i kind of like inline form so let's just go to that one um i like uh, i like this i like this clear i just choose that um and then that is it so do you see like once you click this if you go to the url you'll see like this id here so you pretty much need to take that and then go back and then put that id over here right then uh let's go uh save this here right let's save uh that's all we want uh form was successfully updated and then if you go into your account settings um you will be able you will you can get your api key so let's just copy that and uh, put that here and then done right so now this form is configured and now we just need to publish it right so let's go and publish it uh we can give the site a title um so the title is you know get remote jobs weekly and then as We can press title and description, and then we can use the card.co URL. So let's call this newsletter remote test .co, and it's available. Uh, what a surprise! Um, probably worst domain ever. Mm, and then um, just and then you publish it. Right now, uh, I can show you steps how to do it. How to get, how to also configure it, configure it to a custom domain as well, but uh, before that, I want us to run a run a test oh, right here. Maybe I can just put my name, and then put your email, and then submit, and then it takes you there done, right? And then uh, I actually will need to go to my email. And then confirm my submission. So I confirmed it here. And then if I go to landing pages and forms, um, one second, I see that I have I have one sign up, right? So that's great. So um, you. Um, that means it's working. So I would just test that out, of course. And uh, you are good to go. You can, of course, buy a domain and then connect it. And it's it's super easy to do that as well through card. Um, so yeah, that's it. You know, in less than an hour, you have we put together uh, uh, a place where you could collect email addresses from people, and uh, it gets hooked up to ConvertKit. And you can start sending out the emails. Um, now that is the hardest part. I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. Uh, if this was any, if this was of any value to you, please like and subscribe to my channel. Um, and I'll see you next week. Um,